was love at first sight, like a thunderbolt that hit, and I knew I had to take action. It all began seven years ago. My passion had been raising a family for the last 25 years, and now that the last of my three children had gone off to college, I was searching for something new. They were very encouraging and telling me, Mom, you've got to find a new hobby. And I assumed they thought I would take up knitting or scrapbooking. <laughs> However, in December of that year, I took a trip to New York City and came across a group of 80 women drumming. It was literally thunderous. It was absolutely love at first sight. And I just thought, this is it. I found my new passion. So despite my age and despite people's reactions, I, my drum journey had begun. Needless to say, I hit a few stumbling blocks along the way. I didn't have drums. <laughs> I didn't know how to drum, even if I had one. Um, I knew no drummers, and I didn't have a drum teacher. But I had a vision, and I had a dream, and I was determined to make it happen. So it took seven years of building up my courage, driving my family crazy, doing lots of research, sitting at my desk, pack, drumming Brazilian drum tunes, watching Brazilian videos, and even a trip to Brazil before finally the stars started to align and things started to fall into place. I met Kim Doyce, who was a very accomplished drummer. And probably the first person that didn't look at me like I was half crazy when I said, would you help me out here? Uh, she, is, she has actually toured the US with a all-female rock band. Shortly thereafter, I found drums. And I traveled to New York City and picked up 16 of them in the middle of a blizzard, which you can see was no easy feat. <laughs> so finally, in March of 2017, I gathered a few friends and friends of friends willing to take a chance, and Coral Beats was formed. One and a half years later, we have grown to 30 members from all different backgrounds, nationalities, and professions. Most of us had never drummed before. Um, it didn't matter, though, um, what was important, and really, drumming is the equalizer. It didn't matter how old we were, where we were from, or what we did for a living. What mattered when we show up for rehearsals is the fun, the camaraderie, and the support that we feel within our group. So <laughs> we do laugh. We do cry, we mess up, we struggle sometimes, but we learn, and eventually we get the beat. So Coral Beats is a very tiny idea, but wow, I had no idea how much more it would end up being. The community has embraced us. The friendships and the bonds within this group are hard to describe, with people we would never have met otherwise. It's allowed us to build bridges and extend networks beyond our little bubbles, whether they be a political bubble, a racial bubble, or even a neighborhood bubble. It's allowed us to broaden our social space, which in a small and often divided community such as Bermuda has been so rewarding. So my idea worth spreading today is no matter how small or crazy or inconsequential an idea might seem, just go for it. Get involved in your communities. I'm not a rocket scientist, and I didn't graduate from Harvard. But I, I was a stay-at-home mom who wanted to drum. And look what I've created, or we've created. So um, I can assure you my children never envisioned they would start an all-Brazilian -Braz samba reggae drum band. <laughs> the sound of the drums is powerful, but nowhere near as powerful as the bonds and the friendships within our family of drummers. So we may not be perfect, but we're having one heck of a lot of fun. May I present to you Coral Beats under the amazing musical leadership of Kim Doyce.